In part one of this video, we set up a program that would compare the values of two different numbers and tell you if one number was greater than or less than or equal to the other. Worked like a charm. What I would like to do in this part two of our series is to set this up with something called a while loop. So it will ask the user if they would like to try different numbers. And if they say yes, then it immediately rolls into letting them try different numbers. If they say no, then it ends or breaks the program. So let's get started. Before we enter in a while loop into our program, what I want to do is to change the bulk of our code into a function. That way we can call the function over and over and over again. So I'm going to go up here to line two, which happens to be blank. And I'm going to name our function death check. So the function is now known as check. So typed in the name of the function and open close parentheses and a colon at the end. Now, when you set up a function in Python, the way you indicate what lines of code are part of that function is by indenting. So I'm going to highlight all of this. You do the same. And I'm going to press the tab key on the keyboard. Now we have a function called check that includes all this lines of code. Fabulous. That first part is done. Now let's talk about the while loop. So setting up a while loop is asking Python to always check and see if something is true. And if it's true, then it keeps doing the same thing over and over again. If it ever turns from true to false, then the program does something else. Let's type and explain. So go down to the end of your program and type in the word while, followed by true with a capital T and a colon at the end. Now press enter. Here we are again indenting, right? So we're going to call our function check that we just made. And as long as this is true, it's going to keep asking us if we want to change a number. Perfect. So then what we're going to ask is a question. We'll set up a little variable. I'll call it again. It's a string variable, not a number. So we don't have to use int. And we're just going to say, would you like to try two different numbers. Think of this as asking somebody if they want to play the game again, right? Type Y or N. Awesome. Okay, and then what we're going to do below that is to say if again, which is the name of our variable, equals equals and then in quotes no then we're going to say print and just let it know that we got it uh okay program over yeah here's a new command for our class then we use the break command so how does this flow all right, so it's, it starts off immediately assuming that things are true, and it calls our function check. They get to try a number. After the function runs one time, it will say, would you like to try two different numbers? If they say yes, then it immediately goes back and runs the function again. If they answer no, then it says OK program over and breaks the program, which means to stop the program from running. So let's try it out. Waiting, 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 first number, second number, and it ran that. Would we like to try two different numbers? If I say yes, then it does it again. 
Now the moment of truth, friends, watch, I'm going to say no, N for no. It says, okay, program over, and the program has stopped running. So that is the basics of creating a function and a while loop so you can be asked, hey, do you want to do something again? You'll apply this in a variety of ways in our class. I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Have a great day.